guys in today's video we're gonna be making pho so if you are interested in that make sure you stay tuned to the end um i'm gonna be we're actually on the way my boyfriend and i to the store right now to go get the ingredients uh this is gonna be my first time making homemade pho um so i'm really excited i feel like it's been so rainy in alaska for the past like actually the whole summer we barely had any sun and I feel like some really good soup will soothe the soul but like I figure I might as well make soup instead of like buying it takeout because I recently we recently fell in love with um, our own food made at home with love because every time we eat takeout um, it usually isn't a, a um, that great compared to what we make at home so yeah I'm gonna I'll check back in you guys when we when we get to the store hey guys we just got back um, from cars um, and we got all the ingredients and by the time we were almost done I forgot to I realized I forgot to pull out the camera to vlog so I'm gonna touch base with you guys when we get home and I'll show you what we all got to make the pho and I'll also try to put um, insert a picture of all the ingredients that we got as well or the list that I used okay I'll see you guys uh, when we get home and start preparing the meal okay so <clears throat> we're back home and I just wanted to give you guys uh, a look at all of the uh, ingredients that we got in a little haul so I decided to um, use my home grown cilantro instead of buying some um i need a test uh toasted sesame oil although i won't be using that in the soup um i did get hoisin sauce uh we needed clover so that um i mean honey not clover we needed honey so that's another thing that wasn't included in the list that we needed I got um, some fish sauce, which almost, we almost didn't get, but my boyfriend actually searched up in the app what it looked like, so what we knew what we were looking for. Um, star anise, which was um, pretty expensive. I got basil leaves because they didn't have any fresh in the store, which is why. Why did I throw my basil leaves away when I have some that were grown, homegrown? I don't know. Um, I was just thinking since... We also needed apple cider vinegar, but I was just thinking since um, it wasn't, it was like starting to bolt that I should just um, save the cutting and then I didn't think to keep the leaves for dinner. But anyways, beef broth to go with our, our beef um, flanks here. Um, so we already got the pre-cut pre so that way it saves us a little time. I got some rice noodles. It says rice sticks but they look like noodles to me, so hopefully those turn out well. I also got the bean sprouts. They didn't have any fresh, um, so I did actually um, substitute it for the can, so hopefully it still has its crunch. We got a fresh lime, a fresh shallot, and these were totally, totally um, not included as well, but I just wanted to get some fresh um, radishes since I love to snack on these. Um, I also got this really um, beautiful looking ginger root there and one jalapeno. Okay, so hey guys, so I am actually in the kitchen now. If you see it and it looks like a mess, don't mind, don't mind the mess. Um, but I am actually charring the ginger and onions right now to give it um, the soup base that much more of a flavor after this I'm going to be toasting my star anise my cloves and with some cinnamon and some basil seasoning since I didn't have any fresh seasoning I'm just going to infuse it into the broth but um, I did in, um, pull out the crock pot for this and I am actually using short uh, I put the short ribs in there if you can't see um, I actually didn't realize that it was off on. I'm just going to turn that on high to let that come to a boil and then afterwards we will be um, preparing the rice 
noodle and um, <clears throat> yeah, adding the rest of the sauce into the broth to give it that much more flavor. So I'll see you guys in the meantime. So here is the, I just have this on high because I didn't really want to broil anything. So I'm just right now just like charring the bits and then afterwards I'll just put these into the broth so that way you can start infusing that very delicious aromatic flavor into the into the um, broth. I think I'm actually going to add maybe one or two more cups of you know I realized I could have cut those up but who cares I just want to have a chill laid back kind of dinner so I'll check touch base with you guys in a bit. So I actually um, rinsed off the Shall the shallots and ginger that I was roasting to get some of that extra overly charred the overly charred bits off and I'm gonna show you guys that here they are you could see some of the extra bits that are floating and I'm just gonna use the charred bits so I didn't have a um, I didn't really feel like uh, straining these out so I'm just gonna let those sit for a bit and then once this comes to a boil I'm just gonna go ahead and, and um insert those into the pho or into the broth and probably add, actually i need to add maybe maybe i'll add maybe a couple um cups of water to this to um, make it more brothy okay, so i'm just gonna add a couple more cups of water to this just because i feel like that's not gonna be enough broth there we go. So this should help it come to a faster boil. You know, I may put some more um, some salt in this too to help it um, boil at a higher heat. Okay, just adding some salt in here, um, just because. But there we are, looking good in the neighborhood. Okay, so I just wanted to check in with you guys and kind of just hang out and talk while we're waiting for this to all to um, a boil so I'm actually probably just gonna finish rinsing um, off these shallots and gingers so I can get ready to pour them in when they're ready so I'm just gonna reuse I'm just gonna reuse this start roasting the seasonings or actually um, bringing out the flavor in them so I might actually I'm not sure how much seasonings I'm supposed to use of this so I may just end up using um, maybe half of this start anise or maybe the whole thing I don't know hold on you know I might look it up real quick so I actually um, looked it up and this I'm kind of um, going off of what TikTok people are saying and what this um, some of the Google recipes are saying so somebody said two whole cloves and luckily I didn't try to use the whole thing um, but we're gonna do that with two uh, I said cloves I meant to say anise and they also said two whole cloves of the two whole cloves so I'm gonna do that right now and these are very very strong like um, aromatics so I feel like two should actually be enough um, but in the meantime oops in the meantime we're still waiting for this to come to a boil but I might actually end up like slow cooking this and for like a couple hours now they did say to use cinnamon and do I have cinnamon so they did say cinnamon. Um, I didn't get the whole ones in the store just because I was in a rush to get this started. And I don't have any fresh basil and I really love the basil flavor. So I'm just gonna um, bring out the flavor in that with the start anise and cloves while that is coming to a boil. And I'm gonna show you, I just added the cinnamon and I'm about to add the basil. I actually need to open it real quick. 
still, if I can set you down. <laughs> so I actually still haven't, you know, opened this. I'm actually, I'm actually happy I got these dried basil because I actually really love basil, fresh basil. Um, and I'm kind of sad. I, I don't know why I didn't think to save the, the little. phone just got all covered in seasonings. <laughs> gonna have to cut that out or maybe I'll just leave it in but got that open finally let's add that in there and so we so far we have the star anise in there the cloves and some cinnamon um usually uh they, I also was like kind of doing some research and some of them do put in coriander seeds and I don't think I have coriander seeds so I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I got so I'm gonna just try to bring out the flavors in this in the meantime and once this all comes to a boil like somewhere like when I'm thinking that it's ready to be um, when it's ready I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare my lime and the noodles on a plate and if I had in my jalapeno and I'll just put serve that on a on a on a plate or yeah I'll um, plate it up so that way like you can just grab from it like you would in a restaurant um but I'm excited I'm feel, feeling I'm pretty confident about this meal um hopefully I didn't over salt it when I put the salt in the beef broth and hopefully the beef broth didn't already have extra salt in there it said fat free so we'll see um and then I'm actually all touch base in with you guys once I might add like a tablespoon of the hoisin and the oh this sesame oil is not for this recipe so I'm gonna put that away for now um and the fish sauce and maybe some um, brown sugar because they didn't have the rock the rock um what is it called the rock sugars like i thought uh well i knew they wouldn't have them at cars um just because you know they didn't even have the basil that i wanted so i'll probably just be um using some brown sugar for that extra added like sweetness in there so i'll definitely like touch base with you guys in a little bit i want to show you guys what my situation looks like for the seasoning Mm, and it's starting to smell really friggin' so good. this was the bay leaf i'm sorry basil dried basil and the cinnamon i might have added too much because these are also very strong flavors but um i feel like it's okay i think all the flavors will mesh well once they're added into the broth but it's starting to smell really fragrant in here and i feel like it might be time Oh, they said to put on medium high on the, the Google. You guys, it's a mess. So they actually said to um, put it on medium low and I got confused. So luckily I took it off when I noticed it was starting to get too friggin' and um, a little like it was about to burn. <laughs> smelling so damn breaking a sweat but it is snowing so dang good in here you guys let me turn the heat down because i am getting too hot but oh my gosh this smells amazing i don't know why i didn't start i didn't ever like think to make my own pho before i actually have but mm, it smells so good i love it i can't wait to add it into the into the broth mix my <laughs> <laughs> my seasonings are starting to burn so I'm going to add those into the thingy now and let those start simmering I'll check in with you guys so we just added that in um, let me just try to scrape some more of the bits out and it smells amazing in here it's like a natural house aroma I mean not a natural house aroma but a natural um like a natural, I don't know what to, I forget like what I'm trying to say, a natural, like a natural candle, I 
don't know, like a natural, <laughs> a natural way to like make your house smell good. You guys, it smells amazing in here. I love it. But I feel like I added the beef a little too early because they are starting to cook. So I may only have to cook this for one hour. Um, these aren't really that thick either. So we'll see if I end up cooking them for an hour to maybe an hour and a half. But once they start to look a little like, um, yeah, they are like cooking up. So I should have waited to uh, put those in there while we're waiting for it to come to a boil. But um, we should be okay. But it smells amazing. Ooh. Okay, so what we're you. working with the uh, seasonings are all in there. I if I had a um like a cheesecloth, I would definitely use that to infuse the seasonings into the broth, but we don't, so we're just gonna be working with what we got. You know, I realized I could use um a coffee filter but that probably would disintegrate I don't know um so yeah everything's in there mm, this is gonna be so good and then throughout the process I'll just take off the impurities while it's cooking or when it's done when it's time and from there um, I'll show you guys me preparing the the other items. Um, the sprouts, I'm probably gonna take these out the can and rinse them off. I'll, fig I'll, I'll read the instructions on this, but they're noodles, so they should be easily um, brought to. So it says, um, put the prepared rice stick into boiling water for two to three minutes or desired texture. So these won't take super long to Rinse with cold tap water to transfer to a serving bowl to put hot broth on so it immediately and dry. So yeah, these shouldn't take too long um, to cook. And then I'll cut this up with the lime and we're gonna enjoy our delicious broth together. But these are almost ready to be entered into the uh, soup, so I'm excited. You know, I should use brown sugar instead of white sugar. It's been taking a really long time for the, um, the soup to come to a bowl and I realized that it might be just because I haven't had the lid on it the whole time. So I'm gonna hopefully chop some of that heat in with the lid on to help it come to a boil. So that we can finally add the ginger and shallots. And then I'll um, keep you guys updated on the next parts, but I'm excited to um, let my little family and my boyfriend's son's little friend try some something new. I don't think my boyfriend's son has ever tried pho and this is going to be his first time first time so i hope this homemade meal will com really um compare to um the uh, restaurant style pho. so while we're waiting for that to come to a boil i just kind of want to go sit down and then get ready to prepare, prepare the veggies and the toppings um, for when everything is done. I'm still not sure how long I'm gonna um, boil them for so I'll just add probably like a tablespoon each of these into the Okay, so I have the tablespoon. I'm gonna add some fish sauce right, right quick while we're waiting for everything to Probably like a tablespoon each of these because I already have a lot of that beef Flavor, so this fish sauce will give it that extra touch of goodness. Then I'm gonna put some of the hoisin sauce in there, like a tablespoon. Should be fine. And then a little a tablespoon of some soy sauce into the crock pot. So hopefully this is a fun little crock pot meal for you guys to try out. 
so I just kind of went by eyeball there. Still not coming to a boil, but I did just put the, um, I'm going to put the lid on and then we'll remove all of that impurities. Mm, I can't wait to try it. So yeah, I was I was thinking to just go without the um, the extra toppings like the basil and um, the green onion, but I figure since there's two growing boys in there in the room playing game, I might as well. And my boyfriend and myself, there's going to be four of us total. I figure I might as well get the extra toppings because um, there's already going to be shallots and ginger infused in here. But I want the extra toppings on the side, just in case uh, anybody has like um, a more heftier appetite and wants to have the extra bit of vegetables for the side. But I figured since I'm not sure if this will be enough for everyone, I'm going to serve rice with this too. So, yeah. so it's actually um, three hours into cooking the pho the um the meat and we're infusing all the flavors in um so i actually just seen that on the package we were supposed to soak the rice noodle for one uh one hour before we actually boil them yeah just getting that part done my boyfriend helped me with this part i am getting pretty tired i didn't expect the pot to take this long but i'm actually kind of glad because we get to sit back and relax while we are just um, crock pot cooking. So really easy late dinner. I did end up adding some more water to this just um, to give it, um, just because I realized I didn't put as much water as I would like in the beginning. Um, it did make it lose some of the flavor, but I'd rather have more of the, blo the broth just in case. And um, I've been, yeah scooping out most of the impurities off of the top of this these little fat pieces that keep coming off of the meat i've been scooping them off every i don't know 15 20 minutes to try to um keep our soup kind of clear but i'm actually very happy um with the way that it's turning out it's actually we started cooking around 12 o'clock and it's 3 30 so we just turned it on low because the meat is starting to look like just about um, how we would like it. Um, and I feel like the extra hour, I'm we were about to start eating, but I'm, I'm actually super happy that we waited because um, now it's going to give it a little bit more time. Oh no, my phone died. So Kevin actually just started the rice noodles after we soaked it for one hour so in total we've been cooking for four and a half hours now and this is what the soup is looking like actually i'm gonna turn it around so, for you guys it's looking I turned you guys around and this is what it's looking like um, I ended up putting the more water for it to be more brothy a couple more star anises and a, um, a clove but the meat is looking so good um, and the broth we did some taste tests and it tastes amazing and I'm gonna show you, Kevin and I prepped these. He cut up the onion, I cut the lime and the rest of everything else. The basil came already pre-packaged. I used my fresh cilantro. And then these are from the side. I've tasted a couple of these and they're not as great as they are fresh. So I'm not sure if I'll end up using these in the soup. Um, just because everything else is fresh. So, or in my bowl, I should say, not in the soup, but these are the toppings, and I'm really excited for my family to try homemade pho. And I'll definitely um, let you guys know what I think.